sometime when we install a new theme and when we're going to install demo as well so this asks to do some changes into your hosting settings so when you find this type of error during importing any demo data into your web wordpress site don't do anything just watch this video and i assure you this will help you to configure your server settings if you're new to this channel just press the red button to become a part of this community let's begin Hey everyone this is Siddharth and you are watching Sacno. It is saying to change hosting server settings so simply open your hosting provider account. In your hosting there will be a separate option of cPanel but in my case it is an additional. And now scroll down your screen and search .ini module. Uh, so this module is the php.ini editor. Simply open this and select which site you are working on. I am working on sacno.com uh, so I am going with this. Now you can see all functions are available here. Now open your dashboard and check which function we are going to change. The function is max execution time and the default value is set on 30 seconds. We have to change this to 60 seconds or more. So in my PHP editor here this function uh, now change the value to 60 or more it depends on you but not less than the given value. Uh, I am going with 60 seconds now check the another function and it is max input was uh, so where is this function in my cPanel so this is the function here uh, now simply change the value to 1000 as you can see the recommended value is same now apply all the settings and check from your website just refresh your page to see the changes all functions are set except for WordPress memory limit. Uh, there will be two types of memory. First is server memory means your hosting memory settings and you can change this from your server settings. Your server settings are php.ini setting. And the another memory which is your WordPress memory and you can change that from your WP files. You can call them WordPress files. And where are these files? Yes, these are in file manager. So let's finish this app also. So I'm going in my file manager and open root directory files and search wp-setting.php. So this one is here. Simply open it. For opening, press right click and add it. Then again add it. So in this window, write a code after any defined function and the code is in description so you can simply copy paste from there now check what is the value is uh, this is 128m m means mb so I'm going uh, with this. Now close the function with the semicolon. Now save this file and refresh your browser. Hey, congratulations! You have done everything well. Now you can import your demo. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that my videos can reach you soon after uploading. See you in the next video. Tata, take care.